Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clara and in today's video I have a Dollar Tree DIY project for you guys. These two projects are going to be super easy and super simple so let's get started. So these are the materials we're going to be using for our first project. A book from the Dollar Tree and what you're going to want to do is you're going to remove the cover, remove the book cover that it comes with. When you're at the Dollar Tree make sure that you check underneath the book cover to make sure that the book is solid color. This one's a gray color, and they also have them in other different colors after you take them off, like this is a blue one, and then I have like an off-white color book. So you have different options of colors that you can use for this project. And all these books are from the Dollar Tree. And today I'm gonna be using this off-white color. So you're gonna want a book and the color of your choice, a pair of scissors, Mod Podge, I did find this Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree, a foam brush, a pencil, and then you're gonna want one of these flower sacks. And I'm gonna be using this pattern right here. And I'm only gonna be using the picture here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut around the picture. And I'm just going to kind of be like outlining the picture. So this is what mine looks like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just clean up any edges that are kind of messy. So that looks good to me. I mean, if you don't like it this way, you can always just cut a square. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my book. And if you like, you can push it all the way to the top and then go ahead and write something at the bottom. Or you can push it all the way to the bottom and then write something at the top. Or you can just put it in the middle. And this is how I'm going to leave mine. Now with our Mod Podge, I'm going to go ahead and put some on my brush. And I'm just gonna lightly start spreading it on the back. And you want it to be completely covered so that it all sticks. So now that I put the Mod Podge on the back of my cloth, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the middle here. And I'm going to start pressing down. Now you want to go ahead and start smoothing just to make sure that you don't have any bubbles in there. And this is the final look of this project. The books also come with words right here, but you'll only be seeing the front of the book. Now, if you're gonna be placing this where the side of the book's gonna be showing, all you have to do is grab a sand sponge and sand your words down. And this is what the side of my book looks like now that I've sanded the words down. I did accidentally sand a little bit too much down here, but I actually like how it looks. It kind of gives it a rustic look to it. And this is the end result to this project. Super easy and super cute. And these are the materials we're going to be using for our next project. You're going to want some hot glue, some stickers that look like this, one of these puzzles, and this is in the shape of a little house, some foam brushes, white paint, black paint, and some of these miniature little forks and spoons. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by removing the puzzle pieces. Which 
we won't need those because you'll only want the frame that has the little shape of the house. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by painting the inside of my house. I'm gonna paint that white. And I'm gonna be putting about two coats of the paint. And you wanna make sure that you get in all the creases the best you can. So that is what the first coat looks like in there. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then I'm gonna add another coat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black paint and a different foam brush. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the outside. And if you have a stain, a wood stain, you can also stain the outside. And this is what it looks like after I put the black around it. All right, so now that everything is dry, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna grab our stickers here and I'm gonna place it here at the top. And that's how that looks. Next, I'm gonna grab a small miniature spoon and a small and a small miniature fork. Now I'm gonna leave mine silver just like they come, but if you like, you can paint these black. And now I'm going to just lay it down like this and then I'm going to cross the spoon over like that and you are going to want to add just a small amount of hot glue to the fork if you add too much glue it's going to melt your little fork so all you need is just a small amount You're gonna to wanna to add a small amount of glue here. And this is the final look to this project. Now up here where we put the little sticker, you can go ahead and write whatever you like. You can write the word home or eat or whatever you like up here. and this is going to be the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and make sure you hit that little bell button so you guys get notified every time I post a new video and if you do have any questions just go ahead and comment down below and if not I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!